One of the best ways to improve your Turkish is to listen to the native speak Turkish. And I think YouTube is a great place for that. So today I'm going to share 10 YouTube channels that you can follow to improve your Turkish. <laughs> Merhaba arkadaşlar, I'm Can from Turkishly. If you like such videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any video from us. Now, let's start. Heyecanlıyım. Kendime daha yeşil bir şeyler söylemeyi planlamıştım. Ama bu da yani yeşilin tonlarından sayılır. Ayrıca şurada yeşil bir şey söyledim tabii ki. Avokado, roka, mango, peynir, kaju falan var. Acayip güzel gözüküyor. Acayip yeşilmiş. Bak, mikro yeşiller. Elvin Levinler. Elvin Levinler. She is one of my favorite YouTubers in Turkey. Currently, she has around 1 million subscribers. Elvin is actually an actress and she played in some TV series before. But then she started YouTube and now she's focusing more on commercials and YouTube videos. She makes videos about her life, her travels with her husband. She even makes yoga videos. Her Turkish is I think easy to understand. She speaks very clearly because as I said before, she is an actress too. So I think it won't be so hard for you to understand her. And you can learn daily phrases from her videos just by listening to her conversations with her husband and her friends. You can literally train your ears to understand daily conversations conversations in Turkish but I know just improving your listening skills is not enough so many people message me and ask me how they can meet and talk to Turkish speakers because they don't have the opportunity to meet many in their everyday life I mostly suggest them to check italki which is also the sponsor of today's video if you haven't heard of italki before It's a huge online database of language teachers who give one-to-one -one video lessons 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's a great place to look if you want to find someone to practice your Turkish. You can learn or practice Turkish and over 150 other languages from anywhere in the world. I must also say that it's an incredibly affordable way of learning a language, much cheaper than language academies or offline tutors. Italk is a really good option because not only do they have qualified teachers, they also have community teachers who will practice conversation with you. For example, before starting YouTube, I started teaching Turkish as a tutor on Italki, and most of my students improved their speaking thanks to the classes we did. It will not only help you learn the language, but also build personal connections with Turkish people, which means you will understand the culture and life in Turkey better. And I think it's a very important part of language learning. If you have a goal for your Turkish or any other language, language learning in 2022, click the link in the description and sign up on italki for free now. Italki offers coupons and awards from time to time. Grab the chances and level up your language learning. Bugün de sonradan görme serisinde pasta karşılaştıracağız. En ucuza hangisi? Portalı pasta 23.90. Oradaki daha ucuz. Teşekkür ederiz. 15.90 bu. 16 lira. Ben sana söyleyeyim bak. 4 kişilik bu. Sana bir tane de Barbie bebek alayım mı? 580 gram falandır bu da. Bunun fiyatı daha yüksek ama pastadan. Our next YouTuber is Orkun Işıtmak. He has one of the biggest YouTube channels in Turkey with over 9 million subscribers. He does crazy things. He's jumping from planes, he's going to scary locations, he's trying weird foods. For example, he has a video where he pays 15,000 lira at Nusret. If you like Mr. Beast's videos, I think you will like the videos that Orkun makes. Ben Yağmur Arat. Biliyorsunuz ki bir süredir dünya turu yapıyorum. Dünya turu yaparken dünyanın farklı yerlerinde çok ilginç yerlerde kaldım. Örneğin Japonya'da kapsül otelde kaldım. Bali'de balon otelde kaldım. Ve şu anda o ilginç yerlerin birisinde kalıyorum. Ve uçak otelde kalıyorum. Yağmur Arat. Yağmur Arat. Yağmur is a travel YouTuber that I really like. She literally spreads positive energy in each video that she makes. Like, you get happy after you watch her videos. You want to pack your backpack and travel to another country. So, Yağmur goes to different countries and she makes vlogs. She also travels in Turkey, so you can also find videos about Turkish cities in her channel. Bu bölümümüzde bildiğiniz üzere yine tanıdık gelir size. Üsküdar sahilindeyiz. İnsanlara onlar için mükemmel yaşam nedir? Ve bu yaşam için çabalıyorlar mı? Neler yapıyorlar? Onları sorduk. Mutlu bir aile için tabii ekonomi çok önemlidir. Ne istersin abi gibi o zaman böyle? Vallahi aslında insanın huzur olması gerekiyor sadece. <gülüyor> Easy Turkish. Now, these guys are a team from Istanbul who interview people on the street. So you get to observe real conversations with random strangers. For example, in one video, they ask people to describe their dream life. 
I really love that video. I, I really suggest you to watch it. I will give a link in the description below. I think this is such a cool exposure to authentic Turkish culture because you're watching unscripted encounters and natural reactions from a huge range of people with many different dialects and opinions. I also like that you got subtitles both in Turkish and English so you can actually see exactly what you hear. Even as a Turkish, I love watching their videos. I find it so interesting to see what people think about certain topics. So Easy Turkish should be one of the first channels that you subscribe to if you want to learn Turkish on YouTube. İstanbul bu şantiye durumunu uzun yıllardır devam ettiriyor. Yani bu son birkaç yılın meselesi değil. Dünya Bankası'nın bir raporu var 1999'da diyor ki siz bir veya iki kentinizi küresel yarışa sokacaksınız. İstanbul seçildi. İstanbul feda edildi yani bu küresel kapitalist sistemi seçildi. 140 journeys. 140 Journeys is probably the most professional channel in terms of their videos in this list. They produce original documentaries that include in-depth interviews on various political, social, economic issues. Their videos are like documentaries that you will watch on Netflix, but probably better than Netflix documentaries. They mostly cover topics about politics, but they also have documentaries about interesting people, such as this Turkish man who claims to be the Masiya or one of the all-time rappers Kila Hakan. Another interesting thing about 140 journals is that the founder of this channel, Engin Önder, was chosen as the man transforming journalism in Turkey by Time magazine in 2015. When you're watching these documentaries, you won't only improve your Turkish by listening to so many different people, but you will also learn a lot about Turkey in general. If you want to know why Turkey is the country it is right now, you should definitely check this channel out. Kim bana bir mail geldi, mailde şu yazıyor abi, düşün bilgisayar başında kimler var. Mail geldi açtım şey yazıyor abi sana nasıl ulaşabilirim <gülüyor> yazdım dumanla <gülüyor> ya atmışsın artık insan düşünüyor ki toynağınla nasıl yazdı acaba bunu Cem Yılmaz Cem Yılmaz is one of the most popular comedians in Turkey Think it as Kevin Hart of Turkey, okay? Most of the time he shares videos of his stand-up shows on his channel. The videos have so many references and inside jokes that someone who is not Turkish may find hard to understand. But I think advanced learners can gain insight into what makes Turkish people laugh and improve their listening skills. And best of all, you might use one of his jokes one day to impress your Turkish friends. I know, so many of you guys just like trying to understand everything that native speakers say. Like, I have so many students and they can spend hours trying to understand just one sentence or a suffix that the native speaker said. But don't forget, even native speakers don't use the grammar rules correctly sometimes. So just try to have fun. Aynaları tek bir hedefe doğru yönlendirip çektikleri fotoğraflardaki noktaları üst üste getirmek ilk akla gelen yöntem. Nitekim teleskop tam da bunu yaptı. Gece gökyüzünde gördüğümüz büyük ayı takım yıldızı var ya, onun içindeki yıldızlardan biri seçildi. Barış Özcan. Barış Özcan is like the uncle of Turkish YouTubers because he is one of the first YouTubers that got popular. He is making videos about art, design and technology but he is always making these topics interesting so even if you are not interested in technology you will enjoy watching his videos because his storytelling makes this video so interesting. His diction is very good guys and you can definitely use his videos as a listening practice because he speaks very clearly. However, since he is talking about technology, design and such topics he doesn't use basic words. So if it is hard for you to understand what he is talking about, you can turn on English subtitles in some of his videos so you can understand easier. Özlemişim Antalya. Seni özlemişim yavrucuğum. Odamı geri istiyorum. Polina Kurşanova. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Polina is another lifestyle YouTuber. As you might understand from her name, she is actually not Turkish. She is originally Russian. So why she is in this list? How does she relate to Turkey? Her dad is Turkish, but her mom is Russian. So basically, she was born in Russia, but then she moved to Turkey with her family. She has been living in Turkey for a very long time now. What's interesting about her is that she learned Turkish after she came to Turkey. As I know, when she came to Turkey, she couldn't start the first grade because her Turkish was not good enough. So she went to kindergarten. She literally studied with younger children for one semester to improve her Turkish. So normally, you will expect her to have some Russian accent, right? No. It's not the case. It's so hard to tell the difference. She's literally talking like a native. She doesn't have any accent. 
İşte bugün sabah inanılmaz bir enerjiyle uyandım ve e, dün akşamdan bademleri suya yatırmıştım. Bademleri suya koymuştum ki aktive olsunlar ve badem tutu yaptım sabah sabah. Gerçekten bilmiyorum. Şu ana kadar denediğim bütün marketten alınmış badem sütlerinden çok daha lezzetli oluyor evde yaptığınız badem sütü. So I thought she might be an inspiration for you guys. She makes videos about her life, the places she has been and the things that she does with her boyfriend Kerem. I think it's super fun to watch her videos. I really like her editing style. And I'm sure you will like her content. For example, she has this series of videos where she summarizes what she did each month. I think they are super fun to watch. So subscribe to her channel. Şimdi metin önünüze gelecek arkadaşlar. Çok uzun bir metin değil fark ettiğiniz gibi. Burada amacımız bu metni kaç saniyede seslendireceğimiz ve son cümlesi yani modeldir kelimesine kadar dakikada kaç kelime kullandığımızı tespit etmemiz gerekiyor. Mennan Şahin. This next channel is basically for teaching Turkish people how to speak better Turkish and how to improve their diction. Mennan Şahin is actually a professional presenter at TRT, TRT, which is a national TV channel in Turkey. Since he's a presenter, he speaks Turkish very well. In his channel, he mainly makes videos to show people tactics and practices to speak better Turkish. He has many educational videos as well as some series where he analyzes how Turkish celebrities talk, what are the mistakes they make. For example, in one of his videos, he analyzed how Kerem Bursin talks. I'm sure some of you guys know Kerem Bursin from Turkish series. Ama bu senaryoda ee, şey çok yani şey dedim Allah Allah yani güzel. Bakın yani şey yani e, asalak sesler. Aslında henüz kayda değer bir şey söylemedi. So I think you will really like this series. You can also check his Instagram because he shares some tips and tongue twisters to improve your pronunciation. Daire. This channel is perfect for people who love to watch house tours. Daire, which means flat, is showing you the houses of ordinary Turkish people. I know some of you guys really like watching house tours because maybe you're interested in moving to Turkey or you're interested in investing in Turkey. The houses they show are in different cities of Turkey. So you see different cultures and how they live. For example, I love this episode where they show a beautiful village house in Trabzon. Bu tarihe evde yaşıyorum. Bu balkonu buraya iki yıl önce yaptı. Benim için burası bir yaz mekanı çünkü kışın denize baktığı için evimiz burası gerçekten çok soğuk oluyor. Bu 150 yıllık tavan arasında bulduğum duvarda köşede gördüğünüz kestane tahtalarından bir parça. Onları ben fındık dallarıyla birleştirdim ve bir komedini yaptım kendime. You can check it out. It's in the description. Also, it's a great channel to get inspiration for your own house. Because in most of the episodes, when they're introducing the houses, they also tell you where they bought the furnitures from or where they bought the decorations from. So it can be really useful for someone who's furnishing a house and looking for some inspiration. Almost all of their videos has English subtitles, so it can make it easier for you to understand the videos. So these were the YouTube channels that we recommend you to watch. What about you? Which Turkish YouTube channels that do you follow? Please let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope it was useful for you for discovering some new channels that you don't know. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Kendine iyi bak, görüşürüz.